a really good idea to assess nodulation in your field peas every year. So you're already out there around flowering, taking a look for fungicide decision timing, taking a look for pea aphids. So let's get out there and dig some pea crops up as well. At flowering, that's when your peak nitrogen fixation occurs, so it's a really good time to assess your nodulation. And pea nodules branch as they grow because they're indeterminate nodules. So we use a scorecard to assess them rather than just counting the number. And we're taking a look at what plant growth and vigor looks like the number of nodule clusters, as well as their location and if they're that active pink color inside. So let's take a look at three field examples of using this scorecard. So here, the above ground plant material is quite green and vigorous, scores a five. Below ground, we have more than five clusters. These nodules are located towards the crown and throughout the lateral roots, so they're also scoring quite well there. And if we break them open, we have a bright pink color, meaning they're actively fixing in. If they're white or green, those nodules aren't actively fixing nitrogen, so we don't want to include those when we count. Second field here, very green and healthy above ground, below ground lots of nodules on those roots spread out throughout that rooting structure and they're pink and actively fixing nitrogen. The crown location is near the seed and the main taproot, while the lateral root location is more towards the periphery of the root structure. Having both means that your on-seed inoculant moved with your roots as they grew through the soil. And that's a really good sign because the rhizobia contained in those inoculants are often much better at fixing nitrogen than the rhizobia that are native to our soils. Third and final field, here we've got lower leaves yellowing. Taking a look at the rooting structure, there's few if any nodules. And a lot of the nodules we are finding are quite small, they're white or they're pale green, indicating that they're inactive. And this is pretty common on this sandy field here. So what we're going to do is take a look a little bit more in depth and see if this might be a good candidate to investigate nitrogen rescue in peas.